Hello everybody, it is Thursday, January 7th, 2020. It is 39 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius. And I believe the time right now is around 5.30 p.m. I am in a very strange part of Brooklyn. Probably not an area you will know unless you're from here. Oh, we got some highways here. Dark sky. A sign that says wrong way. And just a lot of empty street here. I don't know what's going on, but it shows I have three viewers and I think YouTube might be acting up a little bit. Maybe it's my connection. Chris Godek, I see your live chat, but that's the only one I see. Sheep's Head Bay, yes. Not really sure what's going on with the live chat. Hopefully it gets better, but at least I know I'm connected to the internet. I was a little bit, little bit worried back there. And I still am. I thought I was going to have to remake the whole live stream. All right, I guess uh, I really am live right now. I'm getting more comments in. Great. It took about two minutes though for more people to really start chatting. All right, and it's uh, glad to see that the Nightbot is working. Night back. Uh, night by repeating back the weather and the local time. But this is Emmons Avenue. I'm on the south part of Brooklyn right now. It also shows I have 38 people watching on my counter but I don't think there's 38 people watching Chris saying go to roll and roast yeah I walked back uh, past there when I was coming this way I think this counter is way off. There's no way there's 82 people watching this. This is Emmons Avenue and Brigham Streets. C Medina 238 with five, buck, five bucks. Your walks are a welcome alternative to watching the madness going on. Thank you. Thank you, C Medina238. Appreciate it very much. Hope you're doing awesome. I guess there are a hundred and so odd people right now. I thought there'd be more. Maybe YouTube is acting up or not sending notifications out. But it's definitely strange. It's fine, I can deal with a lower audience. Booming didn't get notified with this video. Perhaps that's why. 
YouTube's not pushing out the notification for some reason and acting up. But I guess it's okay. I'll just continue on this walk and then more people will join in it as I continue to do the live stream. Feels like it's getting colder. It doesn't feel like it's 39. Nile R asking how my day was. It was very good. Thank you for asking. Woke up early, got some nice breakfast, did some work I needed to do for the channel, and I even posted a video on my Action Kid Extra channel. If you haven't seen that video, I volunteered at a soup kitchen in New York City. So be sure to subscribe to that channel if you're interested in that. Also, I put up my uh, Chelsea to Empire State Building walk on this channel. I have to say, I really like the architecture of this neighborhood. There's many different kinds of styles of buildings. Pretty quiet here in Sheepshead Bay, just like the main part of Manhattan when I was there on Tuesday doing the volunteer work. January tends to be the slowest month for New York City and you can really see it. Vishal Narang asking what's the building to my left? I don't know, let's take a look. Um, I think those are just residential buildings. Let me cross the street before this driver decides to run me over. I like the design though. They have like waves at the top. Looks really cool. Sebastian Gorig, thank you so much for the 549 euro. Keep going with your great work. Greetings from Germany. Thank you, Sebastian. Appreciate it. Michael saying they're condos. They're very nice looking condos. It looks like a modern building. Marvin wants me to go to Roland Roaster. You know, there was one time I did a live stream here. I didn't go all the way to Roland Roast and a lot of people recommended me to go visit it next time. And that's what I did today. I didn't go inside it, but I uh, passed by the front and I'm going to pass by it again very shortly. Last time, I think I ended it at uh, Bedford Avenue. That's why it didn't show up. Ryan 68 with two euro. Can you greet my friend Bobby Boca? All right, Ryan 68. Bobby Boca, I'm saying hello to you from Ryan 68. Okay. And I think I need to shout someone else out too. They messaged me. Let me see uh, if 
if I could find it. Let's see. Hmm. All right, I got a uh I got an Instagram DM and they sent me a tip so I'm going to shout them out from PGH Tony 78 on Instagram. They want a shout out for his uncle who's very sick with lung cancer and wants me to let me know that he loves my show and it's something he could watch and just relax. All right. So Shout out to PG, PGH Tony 78's uncle, who is very sick with lung cancer. But it's great that people who are in medical trouble like that and can't really go outside have an ability to experience traveling through platforms like these. Ali Usal saying the sky looks surreal. It definitely does. And this deli looks kind of weird too. Shoreway Deli. On the strip too, asking if it's supposed to snow there soon. I didn't see any snow on the forecast. Pat Stevens, nice to relax a bit with you today after yesterday. Yeah, yesterday the live stream just ended abruptly. I didn't really have good service over there and I don't know what happened. Usually it's much better than that. Eric Himarios asking what kind of shoes I wear to do all my walking. Um, really depends what I have, but normally I wear Rockports or New Balance. I also have a pair of LL Bean boots. And what about footage? Just asking what hood is the best to live in Brooklyn for families. Do you have a tip? Well, it's kind of hard to judge. It really depends on person to person. Some people may want more, more culture. Some people might just want affordability and don't mind how far the subway is. So that's something you really have to research yourself. But there's many great neighborhoods in Brooklyn. Just uh, look one up that you're interested in and just do your own research. But I have to warn you though, the more desirable neighborhoods are usually the most expensive. Let's cross the streets. Barnabas Bullpet saying today's Action Kid Extra video is my favorite thing so far this year. <laughs> oh, thank you, Barnabas. I had a lot of fun making that video as well. I also felt very good helping back to the community and those who are in need. But anyway, here's the uh, roll and roast of Sheep's Head Bay. I got many requests to come down here and visit it. Roll and Roaster, Sheep's Head Bay. It's a very large restaurant. I don't think they're doing any kind of dining at all. 
because I don't see any tents up. What's up? Hey. What's up? How's the food here? Any good? Bad. It's awesome. All right. I got to come here one day. All right. Free cheese to go, roast beef and turkey. Oh, it smells good out here too. Oh my gosh. Let's zoom in here. What do we got on the menu? Ryan's saying it's good. All right. And Edward went here last night. Look at that. Roast beef, $6.45. Roast turkey, $5.45. A uh, hamburger for five bucks. Whoa. Some of these prices, they even compete with the prices of like Burger King and McDonald's with fast food. Oh man, it smells great in there. But this entire section here, I think is close. Anita King, you uh, smell through the screen. It's, it smells good. But right now they're only doing takeout. No uh, indoor dining at all. But they deliver, that's good. Ryan 68, I hope it tastes better than McDonald's. Oh, I, ha I really hope it do taste better than McDonald's. McDonald's does not really sit well in my stomach. Unless it's like certain items, like their salad or the apple pie, but their burgers and their breakfast sandwiches, I find they're very greasy and they don't sit well with me. Rebecca AC saying the roast beef sandwich is fantastic, especially for the price. And there's a nearby restaurant called Randazzo's, which is also great if you want to spend more. Thank you for the tip there. I'm sure the food is good. I got a bunch of people recommending that place. Lena's upset you didn't get a notification for this. Yeah, you're not the only one. I don't think anyone got a notification for this. I think YouTube, something's going on. Wow, that is a really decorated restaurant. Let's go walk across the street and check it out. The Roca Cafe Lounge. Hurry up and cross. Whoa. Beautiful. Amazing. Roca Cafe. And then you got this place over here. Oh, I was going to walk in here, but there's no exit. I, I would have been fe uh, fenced in. This is Liman Restaurant. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I thought it was lemon until I saw the I. And we got a bait and tackle place because this is right by the water, Sheepshead Bay. A little bit chilly here by the water. Dwayne's saying it's Orthodox Christmas, that's why the decorations are still up. Oh, awesome. Orthodox Christmas is today, I guess.
Marvin Engel saying Manhattan Beach is across the water. Yes, it is. I may even walk over there. Across the street there is Applebee's restaurants. Thank you, Maui 99499. It's my birthday today, so I want to give you a gift that said, thank you for all you do, fan for life. Well, you didn't have to, Maui 99, but happy birthday to you. Glad you're one year older now, one year wiser, but hopefully not uh, one year closer to not doing able to be able to do the things you want to do, so. Happy birthday to you. Tom saying I'm near Sheep's Head Shore Road. Yes, I am near there. We get to see boats today. American Princess. Large boat. Doomsday tonight. Any toilets around? That is a very good question for this area. Not really too many public toilets here, unless you're going into one of the restaurants and you ask to use theirs. When I was here, like the last time, I think I used Macy's backstage, but it's further up there. That's the only kind of store that will let you use the restroom without uh, giving you like dirty looks. Let's cross the street here. There's some nice restaurants I want to show you over there. Many of them are still doing dining. All right. Carolyn saying the crazy, that crazy Disney lady said hi. Yes, she's awesome. Fellow YouTuber goes to all the Disney attractions. Uh, I guess I'll go, maybe. It's weird, this light. All right, walk signals on. I think these restaurants over here on Emmons Avenue did a great job with their outdoor seating. This restaurant, Emmons Palace, isn't really uh, full at all. It does look like they're open though. I see the back there still lit up with their lights on. And here we have uh, opera or, is that opera or opera? Or Pero, I don't know. But you can see the logo there. 
Don't know how to say it. Because the font's all weird. Here it is. Opero. But they have outdoor seating with heat lamps if you want to come here and eat. It looks gorgeous here too, by the way. Beautiful. Also comes with a lot of decorations. Thank you, Xcos, with 549 euro from Germany. Oh, there we go. Opera, opera breakfast platter. And they got meat dishes. Where's their seafood? They're probably really known for their seafood. There he is. Salmon, scallopini, pan sear tilapia. Many of these restaurants on Emmons Avenue, they're known for their seafood. And they're good. Chris saying it's an upscale restaurant when the dishes start at 25 bucks at least. I have to agree with you there. Marvin saying Branzini is Italian sea bass. I thought it was Mediterranean. But Italy is part of the Mediterranean area. All right, we got a very fancy boat coming up on the left, the Atlantis. Where is the Atlantis? This car is blocking it. See that boat? That thing is huge. There it is. And someone also asked about restrooms here. This is the place I usually use, Macy's Backstage. Cats Cafe by M Ocean. Seaport Buffet, wow. This entire buffet is closed off. That's horrible. Oh my gosh. And it's not like their buffet was that expensive either. Monday to Friday, $11.99 for the lunch. Dinner buffet, 
$19.99 Friday to Saturday $21.99 for a dinner buffet. It's sad. But I was also watching a YouTube video saying how the buffet style of dining now is dying out. Buffets originally were meant to draw people into the casinos so they would stay longer and then they just spouted out from there. But uh, buffets have been hit hard due to the pandemic especially because when you go out to the buffet table you have to share the utensils and people don't feel safe with that. That and also the business model is having trouble staying afloat now. There's a lot of um, wasted food with buffets. Here's Randazos. A lot of people recommended this. Randazos, clam bar and restaurant. Mama and me is saying buffets are disgusting in general. Yeah, you gotta be a little bit careful with buffets. There's a few times I went to a buffet where I didn't know it was, I didn't think it was clean there. Ryan 68, to be honest, buffet was always questionable, saw some annoying things. And also, another thing too, with buffets, you also had a lot of selfish people at the buffets. People would go up there and just like take all the crab legs or they take all the best pieces of the meat and they don't leave food for anyone else. I found that really annoying too. Like, people don't know how to be sensitive to others. I don't know that. This is a restaurant that looks very nice. Baby, the Masal Cafe and Lounge. They got a separate plastic igloo for each table if you want to come here. This is great. Beautiful. Very nice way they set it up there. Joe Satara, Sheepshead Bay, my home for 35 of 37 years on this earth. You miss it. Wow, you moved away from Sheepshead Bay. Not too uh, recently. Here yeah, we got the soup burger. Take out soup and burger. Oh, it's the same place. Alex saying there was some weird music playing. That was my own music. Because if I play the music from the restaurant, I'll get in trouble.
Anyway, let's cross over here and walk into Manhattan Beach. Luke is asking why this place is called Sheep's Head Bay. That I don't know. Is it related to sheep being here or used to be here? Because I know that's what happened with Sheep Meadow in Central Park. And now we are walking across the Sheep's Head Bay to Manhattan Bridge, uh, Manhattan Beach Pedestrian Bridge. Oh, Joe Cetera and Aaron Ort saying Sheep's Head is a fish. It's a type of fish that used to be in the bay. That makes perfect sense. This is one of my highlights when I come down here. I love walking across this bridge. It gives this neighborhood so much character. Look at that, huh? Via, I'm walking the bay. Yes, I'm walking across the bay right now. Walking across the body of water known as Sheep's Head Bay. Asia Sultana, where is this? This is uh, Sheep's Head Bay. I think at the end of... Let me see what street this is. There's also a swan there too, look at that. Uh, I forgot the exact street it is. At the end of East 19th Street and Emmons Avenue. Bordy, you think the last time I walked on this bridge I dropped my stuff pan? Oh, you remember that? Yeah, that was uh, a while ago, I think, maybe in the summertime. Let me fix the focus. Also put on my glove because I need to take off my glove in order to use my phone to look at the directions for Asia. All right, my gloves on now. Where'd I put my stylus? All right, there it is. Now I am ready, I think. Let me just double check. Don't want to miss anything. All right, good. Beautiful. Also a beautiful view this way. Linda, what a great walk and a quiet walk too. Yeah, that's why I wanted to come down here because I don't think I've ever come down here when it was nighttime like this. It's beautiful here. Do we see any more like ducks swimming around or swans? Ooh, the camera did something weird there with the focus. Got a few people here fishing in the bay.
Jason asking if I knew that Manhattan Beach is back there. Yes, once I cross over the bay, I'll be in Manhattan Beach. George, great place to visit on summertime. You remember you did a walk back then. Oh, it's pretty here. All the time. Doesn't matter what season it is. Joe, you used to ride your bike to Manhattan Beach over the bridge all the time. Awesome. And Joe is saying I should visit Kingsboro in the summertime. Cool views of Rockaway from there. Yeah, I should go check it out if I can. But we are in Manhattan Beach right now. I don't think I want to go down that way. Instead, I'll head this way and I'll go towards Brighton Beach. Only because I think it will be a little bit warmer over here. SG Luca, have I ever seen the East River frozen? I've seen it frozen before. There was ice floating on the East River. Actually, the wind's blowing right at me. Dim Kai, I am on the other side right now. I'm on Manhattan Beach side. And I'm actually gonna walk across the street because it's cold here by the water. They got some nice homes here, huge ones. I also find it funny how you have places called Manhattan that aren't in Manhattan. Like Manhattan Beach. Manhattan Beach is not in Manhattan, it's in Brooklyn. Definitely very quiet here. This area is mostly a residential neighborhood. 69 is saying my hands are frozen. No, they're not quite frozen, but I am switching hands. So one hand doesn't get frozen over the other. Jim Deacon saying Manhattan Beach is also in Los Angeles. Yep. And also they've got a Long Beach in Los Angeles and we have a Long Beach also in New York. I think, I think soon I'm going to hit Brighton Beach Avenue. Probably at the end of this block here. Or the next one. T 
Calvin Simpson saying, like the way I say Manhattan, stay safe. Thank you so much for the $8 super chat. I have to say the lighting on these side streets aren't really too good. But at least the homes themselves, they have their own lighting. Anita saying, does Brooklyn have a beach? Yes, the most famous beach in Co uh, Brooklyn is Coney Island. Coney Island Beach. But there's multiple beaches in Brooklyn. But Coney Island really isn't my favorite beach in New York City though. My favorite beach in New York City is Rockaway Park. Timothy England, thank you so much for 99 cents. Margie Walford, do I remember the commercial jet that crashed in Queens? I do. I think that actually happened in Rockaway Park. It was a sad day when that happened. Lena wants to put Rockaway Park on the list for the summertime. It's very nice there in Rockaway Park. This light takes a while to change. It's a part of the sidewalk that's steaming and the utility company put a bunch of traffic cones. Don't want to step on that. There in front of me is the Q train. No, that's the B, B train. Jason asking if I saw the water main break in the Bronx. I saw it on the news, it looked pretty bad. It caused a lot of damage, a lot of flooding. All right, let me go over here. This is Corbin Place and Brighton 12 Streets. You know what, I won't cross here because the intersection was very complicated. I'll cross over here.
You know, that's actually a pretty nice display of lights there. Pretty. I'm taking Brighton 12th Street all the way to Brighton Beach Avenue. That's strange, there's a piece of wood here, randomly. Also, if someone wants a uh, TV. Oh! <laughs> you see what you miss here in New York if you don't look down at stuff on the ground? You might miss a random cat. I said, you know, if you want a TV and, oh, there's a cat. And there's also uh, another display over there. I need to Patel sing. That's a 90s TV. Yep. I remember those TVs <laughs> very fondly. You get like a 36 inch TV and the back will be like 10 times more wide than the front. And it'll be impossible to like fit in a corner because the back is so awkward. Back then, you couldn't really hang any TVs from the walls. You had to like sit them down someplace. Yeah, Joel on it weighs 200 pounds and you need like two, three people to carry it. You can break your back trying to lift that thing. I'm glad we don't have those TVs anymore, like <laughs> prevalently. I think my last big TV was a uh, 40 inch. It was a Sony. Lena is saying they probably work better and longer than the 4K these days. Your screen's messed up after two years. Those TVs, if they work, they continue to work very well. Here's Ocean View Avenue. Wow, a lot of recycling and garbage up ahead. What's that they're throwing out? A washing machine? Is this a stove? I don't even know. Kenmore. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's a washing machine. I saw the hose, the water hose. That's how I knew. You know when your washing machine is uh, ready to be thrown out when the hose starts leaking and then you have a bunch of water. Instead of washing the clothes, you're washing the floor and trying to get water out of the walls and 
out of the corners. Also, so what happens in New York City with uh, with washing machines, especially if you live on the higher floors, if stuff starts leaking, then the tenants on like the floors below you will start complaining. Hey, the person on the third floor, they left their washing machine on, they flooded my house. Matic 82, why didn't she just replace the hose? Well, I was just giving that as an example. We replaced the hose, but what if other parts of the machine are leaking? I'm not a washing machine expert. All right, so finally this is Brighton Beach Avenue. This is where a lot of the residents, they do their grocery shopping. These are good prices for apples, 79 cents a pound for Cortland apples. And I'm not sure what kind of those apples are. I don't think they're Granny Smith, even though they're green. Granny Smith, it seems a little bit firmer. These are crispin apples. If you want to come here and do your shopping, you have a lot of selection here. Persian cucumber? Whoa. These seem smaller than the cucumbers I normally see. And you have weird or unique produce as well, like kumato, which is actually a tomato, but it's brown. And here's oranges, a dollar each for oranges. And this I find very interesting. This theater here, they actually turned into a grocery store. Can you imagine if this was still a theater? It wouldn't be open right now because of the COVID restrictions. But now that it's a grocery store, you gotta see this. Look at this. It's called the Net Cost Market. It was built inside a theater. My gosh, look at the decorations here. Whoa. They really stepped up the ambiance here. Chow Bell, this is the fanciest entrance you've ever seen to a grocery store. It's freaking amazing. Look at this thing. Whoa. Board is saying net cost is running a mini empire in Brooklyn now. They just opened a new one further down on Neptune Ave. Let's just go in and just show it. I don't, I don't think I've walked in the entrance here. Wow. This is pretty. 99 cents for oranges and they look very fresh too Pretty. It's just gonna go in there for like a few minutes and come out Wow 
everything looks fresh in here. This is the fanciest grocery store entrance I've ever been in. Wow. Let's check the back. Simply tea beer, it's like a whole foods. This back here. Much. All right, I can't go back there because I have bad internet, but at least you got to see the entrance. Yeah, no uh, going back to the back of the store because there's this bad connection there. But at least you got to see the entrance and a little bit of that aisle I walked. Okay, wow. What a grocery store, huh? And I got a super chat from Tom, $4.99. Thank you so much, Tom. Appreciate it very much. Let's get a selfie here, because this is so pretty. There's even a chair here you can sit on, but... This grocery store is amazing! Whoa! The net cost market on Brighton Beach Avenue. Not a movie theater. Steve Stein just won a many here. You're near uh, Brighton Bazaar and Tashkent Supermarket. Oh yes, I love that Tashkent market. Every time I go there, I go and like pick something up. They've got one of the hugest selection of hot meals everywhere. And Brighton Bazaar is over here. In fact, I would say the Tashkent market is even my favorite market in New York. It's just that I don't go there too often because it's so far from me. But I usually go there for their hot foods and their buffet. Here's a... Uh the Brighton Bazaar. Tashkent Market is over here. On the corner. Mm -hmm. This place is amazing. I'm gonna go in there, you're gonna be shocked. In fact, I just did a separate video just of this supermarket, the Tashkent Market. That's how impressed I was of it. Let's go behind this car. Here's the Tashkent Market, Uzbeki Supermarket. Tashkent has nice dessert too, yeah, definitely. This place is incredible. It's even sometimes hard to walk around. 
because there's so many people. So I'll try to make it quick. I don't want to get in anyone's way. But look at this stuff. This is amazing. All these desserts and everything. You know, it looks kind of busy in here. I don't think I'm going to go in because it's going to be hard to move around. Especially with the camera and everything. Maybe I'll just go to the side of the aisle, but I won't go in. You see here, this is great. There's so much stuff here. All right, let's get out of here now. Excuse me. Thank you. All right. Going out. Yeah, a lot of good foods in there. You got to check it out if you have time. good in there. Tan saying staying away from open buffet offerings right now. Yeah, it's understandable. I have my concerns too about those open buffet type um, displays. But they have signs up there telling people to like don't share the um, utensils, cover their mouth and all that. I find that to be generally clean in there, so I don't really mind it. Sharon Sheridan, thank you so much for five bucks. Thank you, Sharon. Here we got Duncan Double D. Duncan Donuts. And we have the Skovortica, Skovortica restaurant, bar and lounge. Hollow Logs, thank you for doing this. Appreciate it. This isn't a neighborhood that many people go to. There we got. Palace Fried Chicken. But they don't just have chicken, they got pizza and burgers as well. Place, What's the up? Worst place in New York City. <laughs> but you know what to do. Hey. Okay. I don't know what he said. I don't know if he said if it's the worst place or the best place. And then there's another person behind him. He's kind of talking to me in another language. Palace Fried Chicken, he said it was the worst place. <laughs> Oh, you said it was the worst? Okay. I guess this taco truck's not bad. There's people lining up for it. All 
Let me go to the other side of the street. There's a deli and grill, Maddie's. Oh wow, they even decorate underneath the subway too. They put some lights as well as a menorah. Also, it's good I walked across the street because there's music blasting on the other side. <laughs> it worked out for me. Tonight the owl is saying there's Little Odessa, yes. Little Odessa, New York City. Brighton Beach. Here we got two brothers wholesale and retail. Platinum Mobile. Denise Matthews, $4.99. Hey, Action Care, good to see you. Good to see you too, Denise. Thank you so much for the super chat. Yes, JY632, 45N. Here Be Bar did do a two part series on this neighborhood. It's a very good video, uh, two part video. Terry Wheeler, 499 pounds, great channel. Love your walks. Thank you so much. I see a lot of Russian language here. Guys, 1000, you think this place reminds you of GTA, Nico Bellic? Yeah, I think so. I think Nico Bellic had the uh, opening in part of this neighborhood. Roberto Castro, Hove Beach. Yeah, I remember that, Hove Beach. That was the uh, GTA equivalent of Brighton Beach. And that's where he lived. <laughs> this place is closing up soon, pharmacy. Almost at the end of the Brighton themed streets. Here's Brighton Two Streets. You can even get clothing here at half price clothing. A lot of pharmacies here, I notice. There's another one, Central Pharmacy of Brooklyn. And Tekka. You have so many different businesses here. Shoe stores, clothing stores, grocery stores, pharmacies. 
He has Dylan shoes. That's a beautiful setup. Look at that. Great showcase of your wares. Spain, Lancaster, Paris. Wow. Got some Canada represent. Wow, that is fancy. What is this place? St. Petersburg Trade and Publishing House. Books, music. Oh my goodness. And I'm gonna walk into the entrance just to show it. Wow. It's a big store. Really big store. They're playing music in there, so I don't want to walk through it. And plus, they had bad experience with bad service. Spons, he visited that store a while back. I remember. Those are good videos. All right. I think this is the next subway station now. I think this is the aquarium station, New York Aquarium. Oh no, it's Ocean Parkway. Ocean Parkway Station. But I'm actually going to turn left onto Ocean Parkway and head towards Coney Island. I think many of you may be interested to see Coney Island, especially right now during the slowest month of the year. Coney Island is really no more as a summertime spot. Bordy's saying Coney Island's your neighborhood. Awesome, we're gonna go visit it very shortly. Steve, have I ever shot the boardwalk at night? Hmm, I don't remember. I don't remember shooting the boardwalk at nighttime, but we're gonna be heading there right now. Yes, we do have a bot in the live chat. It's been helping out a lot recently. Also repeats the weather and the time. I'm headed right to the Coney Island Boardwalk.
I wonder how many people are going to be on the boardwalk tonight. I don't think too many because it's so cold. Wow, the Coney Island parachute jump is all lit up. That's pretty. Maybe that's where I'll end my live stream at the parachute jump. So folks, we are in Coney Island Beach. The famous Coney Island with Nathan's hot dogs July 4th fireworks. Why is there so much sand over here? Why? All right, I'm walking on sand. I don't know why there's so much sand on this ramp, but hey. Okay, I hope I don't get sand in my shoes. All right. Oh man, it is peaceful over here. And too dark on this side. Yeah, even the front camera is a little dark on this boardwalk. Let's go towards the beach. You know, there's a group of people in Coney Island called the Coney Island Polar Bear Club. I think every week they go into the water in the winter time. That must be so cold in that water. I wouldn't want to do that. The Coney Island Polar Bear Club. And they'll even do it in like the snow too. JY63245N. No, the Coney Island Polar Bear Club was on, but they just um, limited the amount of people. Oh wow, the New York Aquarium building looks very nice. It's pretty. JT, the camera catches the little light pretty well. It's pretty good. Maybe I should go down the water right now. I can have I have the opportunity right now. There's a staircase. Can I go towards the water? I wouldn't want to. I was just teasing. But no one's on that beach right now. What's this building? These are the uh, public bathrooms, I believe. Oh, it's a lifeguard station.
this wind is getting into my gloves and making a cold on my fingers. Wow, all this sand is here. It just got blown right onto the boardwalk. Here's the New York Aquarium, all lit up. If you haven't had a chance to go to the New York Aquarium, it is beautiful. They have a new display called the, uh, with the shark exhibit. That shark exhibit is really, really nice. It's like you're walking inside the water because there's water all around you. You see all the sharks swimming all around you. I wouldn't recommend it if you're afraid of sharks, but for those who want to go visit an awesome aquarium, come check out the New York Aquarium. And the last time you went, they had a walrus. Oh, wow. They had a walrus there? I don't remember seeing a walrus there last time. But they're known for their penguins, their sea lions. They always do the sea lion shows. Those are the favorite of the crowd. What's that weird humming from the aquarium? Let's go back here and see what it looks like from this side. John, or John Art John, you didn't know there's an aquarium here? It's a nice aquarium. There's even a subway stop specifically for this on the F and Q trains. The West A Street Aquarium stop. It's pretty looking. And the parachute jump is pretty as well. I don't think there's anything open right now on Coney Island. Simply D Beardy, more public bathrooms coming up on my left. Yep. I don't know if they're open at this time, probably not. Oh, oh my gosh, that's dangerous. I tripped on this screw. My foot went like this. Not good. I'm not walking on any uh, screws anymore. Well, I'll try not to. There's a lot of bad screws if you look at it. There's this one over here. And then there's that one over there also. I think the boardwalk needs a little bit of maintenance. 
Anyone got a screwdriver? Or a hammer, at least hammer those screws back so they're flat. Here's the uh, entrance to the aquarium over here. Here it is, the New York Aquarium. Board is saying they converted some of the boardwalk to cement and it doesn't have the same character. Yeah, it really doesn't. It doesn't really seem like a boardwalk anymore because it's all cement. They converted the uh, entire Rockaway boardwalk into concrete. There's so much sand here on the side. Everywhere there's sand. Zoe so saying I'd be safer walking in the sand. That's true if you got screws like that from before. But the problem with the sand is sometimes you don't know what's beneath it. Maybe there's a sand animal that's going to eat you alive or there's broken glass or needles. That's uh, pretty bad to deal with on their own. That's one of my fears walking on the beach, just walking on the sand and all of a sudden you get pierced by a needle or like broken glass and then you gotta visit the doctor because you don't know what the hell, well excuse my language, what the thing just pierced you and if it'll get infected. Yeah, we've got Coney Island's amusement parks, Luna Park, and also uh, Dino's Wonder World Park. Cohen saying for a boardwalk being this big and so busy in the summer, it seems to be in pretty good shape. Yeah, it's not in bad uh, shape, but you do see stuff like this here where some of the boards are uneven. <laughs> some of the boards are uneven and need to be screwed back in or replaced. These amusement rides suffered a lot this year. There's the Wonder Wheel. Amar, inspired by me, you walked seven and a half miles by the Hudson River. That's incredible. Congratulations on that.
Nathan's is closed. I'm not sure if the one on uh, Surf Avenue is open though. You got the uh, public bathrooms to the left, but they're probably way past hours now. Steve saying, uh, you bet the actual restaurant is open. Yeah, maybe I won't go to the parachute jump. I'll just head up to uh, Surf Avenue and see if the Nathan's is open. Yeah, the bathrooms are closed. I see the gate roll down. There's so much sand here. A lot of sand. But parachute jump is over there. Just sorry, no, Nightbot is a robot. It's not human. The amusement park looks so creepy at nighttime without any lights on or anything. I heard they're building a new roller coaster here. Horror movie, horror movie coming up, folks. <laughs> The mouse potato, this looks like where Batman's enemies might live. Yep. Also to my left here are the Coney Island art walls. I tried to get in here the last time I was here, but it was closed off already. Here's the Coney Island art walls. You can see this one. Alright, let's see if Nathan's is open. It's coming up. Stillwell Avenue and Surf Avenue. This is where they have the famous hot dog eating contest where they eat like 70, 80 hot dogs on July 4th. They also have the uh, hot dog eating wall of fame somewhere here, if I could find it. 
I think they used to have it up here, but what happened to the sign? I remember they had all the list of winners up there. All right, Nathan's is open. All right, folks, so I am going to end this live stream here in front of the Nathan's Hot Dog Restaurant, the original hot dog restaurant. If you enjoyed this live stream, be sure to smash the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, folks. Take care. Good night.